All right. Got some MK2011 running. This article that got sent to me by Fire Lord Kursan, another massive Mortal Kombat fan. Um, finish them. Finish them. Why Mortal Kombat needs to end. This is by Sean Bell. Uh, perhaps it's time to throw on the throw on the towel. So I'll try and like, skip to the good bits, right? Um, nowadays, however, the originality of the first game is gone. The series seems more concerned with DLC characters rather than creating compelling storytelling. Um, blah, blah, blah. While the first game may be gory, it also has a great story. Now the series leans into ultra-violence and DLC characters and storytelling is more of an afterthought. It's interesting, actually, just as, a, as an aside to that. They spent more money on voice acting and fucking storytelling than they ever ha have before. <clears throat> and it's completely forgettable. Just forgettable. A fucking profile picture with some text beside it, I still remember over the crap that they put in MK10 and MK11 for their storytelling. Right? Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, he mentions to um, uh, incorporate uh, subsequent games, incorporate uh, redundant mini games. I don't agree with that statement. I think the mini games are some of the strongest parts of MK. Um, because it's a nice, relaxing... So you, so the way gaming, I like to think of it, is that you have your main game, which is all you know, serious and blah, 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 you know, and like... And then you have these fun things which allow you to wind down, but still allow you to stay in the game, right? So motor combat, puzzle combat, chess combat, test your mind, test your sight, test your luck, random combat, the fucking challenge tower from MK2011. Like, all of that shit is phenomenal. Uh, test your balance, I think was one or two, wasn't it? Um, all of those are phenomenal, right? And then MK10 came out, and they pretty much just got rid of all of it. MK10 was the demise, the starting, going downhill of it, because they started introducing things like, you know, as he points out, um, somewhere in here, where is it? Uh, easy fatalities, costume packs, and character DLC packs. Now, I don't like guest characters. I've made no, you know, no secret in hiding that fact. I fucking hate them. It's not because they're shit. It's just that they're not MK characters. A guest character takes up an MK other character's slot. Right? Slot, not slut. Right? You have so many MK characters out there. Fuck's sake, open a 90s comic book for God's sakes. There's a whole bunch in there that you could pull from and create. Like Sin and, Sin and Sang, who creates Siang. Right? Who was in, I think, um, Blood and Thunder. Right? They talked about him in Blood and Thunder. Right? Who was this incredible you know, Mortal Kombat champion who was two two brothers that merged together to create essentially like a super character, right? There's so many fucking characters you can pull from from the comics. Jesus Christ, John Tobias fucking wrote them. Like, and, and, and or at least penned them. I don't know if he wrote, but he probably did because he's a fucking legend, right? So they're in there. And then you make crap like Devora and Terra... Four or whatever the fucking name is and fucking the only MK character in the last two MK games that I actually think feels like an MK character is the collector. He actually feels like, you know, part of the MK universe, right? Fuck those MK kids shit. And I'm gonna say this right off the bat. There are MK fans and then there are MK fans who only love MK eleven and the twenty twenty one movie. Right? And those fuckers are the ones that just don't care. They don't care if the storyline gets absolutely like aborted. They don't care if the storyline just gets like boot stomped into the into the side of a curb. They don't care because it's got Mortal Kombat on the tin. And social media fucking suck ups. My god, that's the worst of them. Sitting there sucking up, you know, because they want to get the interviews and all this sort of shit. Not all of them, but some of them out there, right, who are just like, it's got Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, the fucking greatest thing I've ever made. <laughs> Nah, so I'm too old for that fucking bullshit, right? I don't give a shit. I don't care, man. I don't fucking care, right? Mortal Kombat has lost its way. Mortal Kombat, to me, like, like the fatalities were cool, yeah? But the thing that drew me to Mortal Kombat, because I'm a huge fan of, like, Asian sort of, like, history, especially Japan, you know? I love Asian theme stuff, always have. And that's what made it really cool, was that you had this secret ultra, you know, tournament that was, like, on this, like, island somewhere in the middle of Asia or wherever and you know uh, the rest of the world had no idea it existed yet every 10 it was every 10 years or so you know um, the fucking MK tournament would would save the save the day no one had any idea right and while and the reason why like I've separated the two MK fan bases is because that group 
only care more about gore. I made a comment on Twitter a while ago about, um, you know, MK11 is essentially gore porn, and it's fucking true. And some MK elitist said, oh, you know, you're fucking, um, that's the shittiest take of the week I've ever seen. Really, dude? Yeah. Well, it is. It's, it's fucking true. Because all they care about now is trying to just create more and more gore shock with their, you know, with their fucking fatalities, you know, or the or the amount of sort of detail they go into for like their crushing blows or the fatal blows and all that fucking crap. I love the X-rays. See, to me, the X-ray was like a super move, right? It was the Mortal Kombat equivalent of a Street Fighter super bar, right? And then they fucked it up more, right? It was great in 2011, but then they fucked it up more. Right? Because they were chasing the esports crowd too. And it's interesting how, you know, when they MK, when they advertise MK, oh, the MK11 sold the most of all the theory. Yeah, they didn't advertise on those fucking ads, did they, that it was a giant loot box. That unlike the Krypton MK2011 and MK10, you can't target what you want. We're going to make it a grindier session, so you don't know what you're getting every time you click on a chest. And uh, we're going to incentivize that by putting time crystals in the store that you can bypass all of that terrible grind that we've created. Right? So you can open your wallet. Right? And then, they, they, and then, then what they do, they play you know, like a, sort of like a sleight of hand by going, oh, look at these new DLC characters coming out. See, don't hate our game too much. Aren't we fucking cool? We put Robocop in there and Rambo and shit. Right? So, basically, right, like, most of this I do agree with, right? I don't, um, I don't agree with, uh, and this is the thing here, MK11 is no better. Uh, NetherRealm seems less concerned with originality, more with getting as much money out of players as possible. 100% agree. 100%. Right? 100% agree. I'll post the link in the description so you guys can go read it in full. But yeah, they do. Hence what I just said. Right? I don't mind if they brought out DLC character packs that are MK characters, you know, that didn't make it into the main roster, or character costume packs that they bring out. That's fine. I don't mind post-game transactions if they're in that nature. But you should get rid of things like easy fatalities. MK fans, MK11 2021 movie fans, right? You're fucking soft. Fucking soft. You know, you get like, what, two seconds, I think, to do fatalities in classic MK games? No one bitched then, right? And the thing is, though, this is the funny part. In MK Trilogy, there's a secret menu that allows one-button fatalities, which is fine. But at least it's a fucking in-game cheat, right? These people want to fucking, like, nickel and dime you. So you buy tokens to perform an easy fatality. You're playing a fighting game with intricate combos, and yet somehow you're incapable of pressing the pause button and looking at the fatality and then coming back out and doing it? I'm so fast with that shit that I can play an online match, right? And load it up and have a look and then come back out and do it. You know why? Because there's so much fucking time that they give you for fatalities now. The brutalities in MK11 is what a classic fatality used to be like. Quick, brutal, done. Go the fuck home, that's it, right? Not sitting there with a fucking bag of popcorn, you know, and a drink, waiting for this thing to fucking end like I'm watching a John Woo movie from the early 2000s and 90s. And I love John Woo, don't get me wrong, I'm just saying, I don't want to fucking make fatalities like that, right? So, MK, and, you know, again, you know, I've talked about this before, we haven't heard shit about MK in the 30th fucking year anniversary. Zippo, nothing, not a single fucking thing. But yeah, maybe in the next month or so, or closer to the end of the year, they'll, we'll have this massive MK dump and we'll all get our dick hard. You know, they'll bring out a 3D collection of, of whatever, and, and they'll announce MK12 and blah blah blah, you know, it'll be fucking whatever. But they need to scale the fuck back. MK2011 was fantastic. And when you got fucking people in Netherrealm sitting there, right, going, Oh, we can't have women dressed in fucking bikinis in a fictional Mortal Kombat fight. Because that wouldn't be realistic. Well, it's not realistic that some fucking dickhead can pull your head off. You know, we ain't Predator. Right? 
Like, they are fucking compromised. Nether Realm is compromised. There we go. I fucking said it. Right? Compromised. Now, I know Max did a video, something about... Was it Max talking about should, um, should you know, was it Arc System Works or something? Or should, should essentially somebody else do Mortal Kombat? That would be interesting, right? Because I don't give a fuck about these 3D graphics no more, right? I, I don't care, okay? I'd actually love to see a really highly well animated MK game, right? That'd be fucking, that'd be so beautiful, right? That'd be really cool. Okay, because unfortunately, you know, they spent, you're like, fucking people got PTSD, right? People got PTSD from trying to figure out how to do fatalities on, and, and how body pieces fall apart and shit. At Netherrealm, right? Do they fucking care? No. <laughs> you know, do their bosses care? No. Right? They don't give a shit. They don't care about, like, give me a fucking break. You don't need to have intricate detail. I'm not going to fucking medical school when I'm playing Mortal Kombat. I don't give a fuck about how shit falls apart. Cut the cunt's head off. Fucking blow him up with a fireball. I'm a pretty simple dude, right? And that's the thing, though, is that, you know, we actually... Again, we used to get a lot, a lot of finishing moves. Good babalities, friendships, you know... Um, hell, you could bring out fucking fatality packs if you wanted. You know, where characters can get extra fatalities or they get classic fatalities brought back. They did that in MK2011, I believe. They introduced a couple of the classic ones. Right? But forget fucking guest characters. Scale the game back to what made it great. No one's going to give a fuck if we don't have cinematic fucking storytelling that we can go on YouTube and watch the three-hour cut version of it. Right? No one gives a fuck. Right? No one cares, man. We just want great fucking storytelling. That's all. Right? And we don't need to have it as part of the story. We can literally just load up an arcade tower, get our profile in the beginning, right? And then maybe, like the old fucking games, okay, a certain character would have certain things that if they did, right, as they go up that tower, like when we used to be able to access characters like Human Smoke um, and Jade uh, in MK2 um, on certain stages, then, you know, then, then you could have like a little cutscene involved and stuff like that, right? You know, make it a perk that that's the aim to get your character to achieve these certain things to then get that and then you get your ending at the end of it, right? Not this overarching shitty storyline that nobody gives a fuck about. I think MK2011's cinematic storytelling was the last great part of it and, and for whatever reason it hadn't recovered. MK10's is shit, MK11's is worse. MK2011 is, is literally like lightning in a bottle for Nether Realm these days, which is a shame, right? And I think the problem is, is that they lean too heavily into Injustice. Like, everything, this is the problem, everything that they did in Injustice, they brought over to fucking MK. Like all the character bits and pieces that you could, you know, outfit and crap, you know, and jumping off stuff in the background and fuck off, man, Jesus. We're having a fucking stage fatalities, right? Make every stage have a fucking stage fatality. Hell, if you can bring it back in a 2D environment, I've said this before, bring back the 3D era of MK fa uh, like stage fatalities, right? Where you could literally kill them just like that, as long as you get him close enough and do the right thing that you need to do, right? Make it so you've got to knock him into a wall a couple of times and it breaks the wall down and then it exposes like this pit that you can kick him off into if they're right against that part, you know? Make the stages deadly like you did in the 3D era MK games, where like on top of that like rock platform it would slowly like break apart and like like the 3D MK games, while some of them like they have their own issues, they captured Mortal Kombat. Everything felt dangerous. Everything felt dangerous, right? Now <laughs> Right, nothing. Anyway guys, I'll leave it there. Let me know what you think. Um no, I don't think it needs to die, but I think it needs, I think it, I think, unfortunately, it either needs to be left alone for a while, and then come back to, and if you can't fucking leave it alone, then scale it back and get back to, you know, the basics. Catch you next time.